country will be hosting a global event, the, the, the indigenous businesses from all over, the, all over the world will convene in our country later on this year, in October, uh, and it was secured at the back of uh, the, the Vice Minister uh, who successfully attended uh, last year's uh, the indigenous uh, business forum. World Indigenous Business Forum uh, in Col Colombia. When she attended, she secured uh, that this year's uh, uh, World Indigenous Business Forum be convened in our country. Uh, much to compliment our work we're doing to get up Papua New Guineans and Papua New Guinean based businesses to be get up, get going to do business. So uh, the Honorable Kesi Sawan will speak on this a little bit later on, but I want to inform our country. That our government has given full support to us hosting this event. It will be massive. Uh, I think uh, she will indicate to us the magnitude of the event. Uh, the uh, hundreds, if not thousands, they come to this event. Something similar to the scope of APEC we hosted in 2018. Uh, this one has a far greater reach. All indigenous uh, uh, business network throughout planet Earth and all countries on Earth are represented in this. World Indigenous Business Forum, and in October this year we'll be hosting this. Uh, it also gives us an opportunity time to show our country what we are, who we are, uh, especially for our, our producers to also find marketplace in the world, and more importantly also for us to attract genuine foreign business to come in, as well as uh, bringing tourists uh, into our country. We are privileged to, have, uh, to be hosting this later this year. I just want to ask the Honorable Kessie Sowell, on behalf of uh, Minister Marvin and myself, to give a backdrop on what happened when, when she visited, uh, uh, when she was part of the uh, last year's forum, and how she secured this important conference for us, uh, for us to host in Papua New Guinea in October this year. Uh, uh, Honorable Kessie Sowell, please, thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister, and uh, Minister Marvin, thank you for actually approving my trip to attend the World Indigenous Business Forum for the first time uh, as a government representative. Uh, that was in uh, the city of Villa Vincencio in Colombia, South America. And uh, for the first time, uh, we actually meet to host that event. It was a challenge, but uh, thank God uh, we actually won that uh, meet to host the forum this year in October. So a bit on the World Indigenous Business Forum is the initiative <coughs> of the World Indigenous Leadership Institute uh, based in North America. And uh, the, the forum actually has been running for 10 years, except the two years when they had COVID, they, actually, they had virtual uh, event. So uh, the World Indigenous Business Forum brings together indigenous business from across the world where there are indigenous people. And the idea is that uh, trade has been going on amongst indigenous people for thousands of years. So when countries form as countries, we set trade rules. But uh, prior to that, when uh, indigenous people were actually trading, uh, trading among themselves. So World Indigenous People, uh, World Indigenous Business Forum actually builds upon that to encourage trade amongst indigenous people. So I want to thank the government of uh, Prime Minister, Honorable James Marabe, for actually approving uh, that the government will actually be the host of this year's event. And we are expecting up to 20 plus uh, countries from uh, um, indigenous businesses from across the world to uh, actually attend. And um, for, for just, just the background on the, the magnitude of indigenous business, uh, the Maori economy in New Zealand is a good example. It grew from a 16 billion Kenna economy 20 years ago. Today it is 70 billion Kenna economy. And by 2030, it's going to go over 100 billion Kenna economy. So that's the Maori economy alone. And they make up 16% of GDP of New Zealand. So uh, the idea is that when they come here, how do we in Papua New Guinea tap in and establish business relationship with the indigenous business of uh, um, 
or for Maoris or the Afrogenous in Australia or even the South Americans. So uh, it's a really exciting event. It will also get us Papua New Guineans to actually uh, uh, display and promote our cultural heritage. And uh, one of the things that actually gave us that uh, added advantage to host this event was that uh, I went and searched for videos on Papua New Guinea and I saw three on uh, the Tourism Promotion Authority. And I, I just went and played that and then everyone was going, wow. And uh, they agreed that we will host it. Thank you so much, Prime Minister, for giving me the space. All right, any one of you have a specific question on the World Indigenous uh, Business uh, Forum that we will host in October this year? Uh, please uh, prepare to ask her, ask me, ask Minister Maru. Uh, and I would rather you all ask her, she's handling this for the whole of government. It's an important platform where Papua New Guinea and small SMEs, as our government focuses on wrapping up uh, our citizens to get engaged in small to medium uh, enterprises, uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, uh, must that our people's aspiration to be businessmen, businesswomen in their own rights. Uh, when they have conversations like tech with PNG, many just think about we talk about mining and oil and gas and the big business. But it's really about all of us, especially the everyday Papua New Guinea. Uh, instead of sitting behind uh, desk uh, laptops or uh, phones and just wasting time on WhatsApps and Facebooks all day. Get engaged, get involved, start up a business startup somewhere. We're putting money for SMEs in NDB and BSV. Uh, Kina Bank is, has been lending a very good consistent lending uh, uh, lately. And so get out there, get engaged. Governments put price support for our, our commodity prices. We also put in freight support to uplift producers in rural areas into market. Uh, we're looking at every means whatsoever to assist Papua New Guineans get engaged in business. Today, later this year in October, when they come, national government, by the way, has put in 10 million kina to assist hosts of this global event. Uh, you would hear and see how small startups in, in many indigenous uh, societies in, in right across the world, where they have grown from basic nothing, uh, utilizing resource within their means to get into growing, uh, growing as businesses, and they become successful business. Now, not only trading at their own domestic environments, but also having a global reach. The exports going on uh, and being successful business in their own right. So, please, if you have some uh, further clarity in it, the Vice Minister, I uh, guess it's all this year. Uh, you can ask him more questions or ask myself and Minister Marlowe.